Turmeric itself was originally consumed as a food. Another thing to keep in mind is that it supports mood. There's been studies on depression, uh, and it, it, there's no side effects, you know, so you can't lose. And right. then even with heart disease, they've done some studies and shown that blood vessel integrity was stronger after eight weeks of use. Hmm. And so it, it, the benefits of turmeric, we only crack the surface when we say pain and inflammation. And what we want people to do is to know the whole food form has over 200 phytonutrients. It's not just curcumin. It's so much more than that. If you're taking in the whole food form, you're really getting it as nature intended. And then you've got some brain cell support, heart support, it's total body. Welcome everybody back to the Healthy Habit Podcast today with Mr. Stephen Harkins. He is back, folks, for the monthly check-in, Director of Education there at North American Herb and Spice, as well as Physician Strength Formulas. Stephen, welcome back to the show. How are we doing, sir? Thank you very much, Dr. Dehan. I'm doing excellent, and um, I'm revitalized. We're ready. I'm rejuvenated. You're ready to go? Yes. <laughs> Steven, you've quickly become a fan favorite here, my friend, on the Healthy Habit Podcast. When people come into the store, if you walk in and make a quick right, you'll see, number one, Stan the Demo Man there on the right side. But on that whole right face panel, you'll see all the North American herb and spice products we'll be discussing today with Steven. So, superfood lattes to the rescue, my friend. Tell us a little bit about what we're talking about today, Steven. So, well, if you're tired of taking capsules all the time and you want a little bit more, uh, you want to taste the benefits... Uh, these are superfood lattes. We're talking about functional ingredients that support your everyday needs uh, coming from ashwagandha, chaga, turmeric, maca, ginger, cinnamon. So some really amazing things. And it's just the idea of drinking it, uh, getting some nutrition, also getting some energy, uh, dealing with things like pain and inflammation. And uh, I think it's just going to be a very practical topic that children uh people of all ages can enjoy so we can drink these products hot over the stove or even ice cold in a healthy shake so tell us about let's say ashwa milk we'll start there a lot of people have heard of ashwagandha so this is a unique product uh kind of the only one i've seen like this where it's a milk and ashwagandha tell us a little bit about it yes yes so and, and and the idea here is that you can use whatever milk you want you know so whether you're a dairy person or non-dairy i'm a non-dairy uh you can do it the way you want and uh so this is ashwagandha it is known as a rejuvenator actually that's why we talk about that uh it, what we're talking about is you know supporting your stress your anxiety uh throughout the day and just keeping that in check because we know stress has an effect directly on our physical health as well as our mental health. And we all have it, uh, but ashwagandha is just one of those, what's known as adaptogenic herbs. And what does that mean? It, it helps your body adapt as you might have imagined, hmm. you know, two things like the stress that comes in our lives every day. So is the chaga milk, maca milk and ashwa, they're all separate. Is that correct, Stephen? Yeah, they're all okay. separate and you'll kind of use them for separate separate reasons. So again, let's start back with the ashwagandha milk. It's a certified organic 10 to one ashwagandha. Can you explain this and why is this so important to get the right ratios? Yeah, so starting with the ratio, and I think most people understand the importance of organic. So uh, that means no pesticides, it's grown in healthy conditions in the soil, no uh, heavy metals, it's tested for those kind of things with, regarding the ratio. If you were to take the root, and that's what it is. It's just a root that, that is grown in the ground. Uh, if you just take that and grind that directly into a powder, you know, just take a hammer, crush it. You've got nothing but a powder. That's called one to one. Uh, 10 to one means that um, it is 10 times concentrated. Hmm. And that means you're going to get, you know, 10 times the potency uh, of just crushing it into a powder with a hammer. <laughs> and right. so it's, it's 10 times as strong for your benefit. Okay, folks, if you're just tuning in, we're talking with Mr. Stephen Harkins about Ashwa Milk, North American Herb and Spice. And uh, you can find this right in the store. It's a powdered product. We want to mix it up a little bit and see how you can add some of these great herbs into a drink. 
or like we mentioned, it could be hot or cold, or you can sneak it into a smoothie. And is this 100% ashwagandha here in the ashra milk, or is there other ingredients? Can you highlight that? Yeah, yeah. We also use the amla, which is a uh, vitamin C. It's an amla berry powder, and that's vitamin a huge in vitamin C, and that helps you absorb uh, even greater uh, uh, benefit from the ashwagandha. So uh, that is also in there, and you're going to get a little bit of vitamin C uh, as a benefit too. Looks like we have some Jerusalem artichoke powder in there as well. That's correct. Why yeah. is that added in? Jerusalem artichoke is a prebiotic and it's a fiber rich ingredient. And so it just adds a uh, further benefit to the digestion process so that you can really assimilate and uh, make it more available to your body. And, you know, we're, we are a nutritional company, so we always like to give you the bigger picture uh, with the formula. And I want to give a quick, before we move on to the other milk items here that we can choose, Ashra milk is the energizing power of wild, raw, organic ashwagandha root extract. This extract is far more potent than typical ashwagandha supplements. Just like Stephen was just mentioning right there with the 10 to 1 concentration. It's a true water and alcohol-free extract, which has a high potency unmatched in other formulas. And then we'll end on this note on ashwagandha. It's one of the key Ayurvedic adaptogenic roots. And like you said, people need to adapt to the stress around us. We can't just leave and, and move in the middle of a forest somewhere, right? There's always going to be stress around us. We need herbs to help us adapt. Is that a good way to look at ashwagandha? Yeah, absolutely. You know, when it comes to stress, they even have studies out there about sleep and how it supports with uh, situations where you're not able to get a good uh, rest at night. So it's very much to do with your your brain. Uh, it, it definitely impacts the different receptors of your brain. And, you know, there, there are some studies on how it supports healthy cortisol levels, cortisol hmm. being that stress hormone that they can measure when that hormone's elevated, it means that you're having a stress reaction. And they've found over four to six weeks that they were able to bring that down an average 26% uh, by taking about 400 milligrams every day. And then you mentioned Ayurveda. Yeah. But this has a long, rich history uh, in Ayurvedic medicine. And it's known as Rasayana is a word they use. And that just means rejuvenator. Mm -hmm. So it's it's got a long history. And we're just really just discovering it now here in America. We're just getting caught up now, Stephen. Yeah. With shows like this. Thank so you come Marty. and help us put it on the map for us. So next we can switch to the chaga milk. Tell us about this. How does it differentiate? Is it also a powder like ashra milk? Just a completely different herb? Yes, exactly. It's a powdered herb. And it's something that you can use to kind of rebuild your energy. And, you know, let's say if you're somebody uh, who, and, and I'm guilty of this, you know, you just kind of get in that coffee mode. Next thing you know, you're drinking two to three cups a day. Right. And you're like, wait a minute. And you're, you're crashing and you're just not feeling yourself. You can be irritable. And you're like, this isn't the energy I wanted. It was good while it lasted. But there's a more stable way to get energy. And that would be. Pardon me, I'm going to silence that. <laughs> that would be definitely with uh, chaga. It's full of B vitamins. It's got a lot of trace minerals, magnesium, which you need for energy production. It And what's interesting is ours is wild, comes from the birch bark tree. Uh, that's also something that really makes us different because we take the effort to go out into the forest. And this is a fungus. It's very different than a lot of other mushrooms because it's very hard and it mm. takes up to 20 years to grow on that birch tree. And uh, with that, you get the full effect of what chaga can do. Wow. Chaga milk is the most nutritious, nutritious and delicious. Say that 10 times fast, nutritious and delicious way of That's getting delicious. your daily dose of wild chaga. Make your milk daily and support a healthy whole body, biological and immune response. Chaga is incredible. I mean, for all the research buffs out there, you can go read for five hours straight, 10 hours on, on chaga research. So, we have here a source from the Canadian wilderness. Is that true? That is true. That is very true. Uh, uh, you know, we do get some from Siberia as well, but most of it is coming, you know, it loves cold climates and uh, it thrives in those very harsh climates. That tells you something about its potency. Right. And yes, it's, we get it from the far north there in, in the Canadian forest. One yeah. teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon of the powder here is going to be giving you the wild raw chaga. There's the wild raw birch bark in there, the yacon root powder. 
Siberian black chaga, and then even cinnamon essential oil added in there for some extra blood sugar support, I'm guessing. Uh, anything else you wanted to add about the, the combo there between chaga and birch bark? Well, putting the birch bark with it makes a lot of sense because birch bark in itself is a, is a supplement of sorts. And, um, you know, you need that for immunity. And so there's a huge immune aspect with chaga. Um, that's why some of our formulas have oregano and cinnamon and that mm -hmm. type of thing. And um, huge. I mean, if you look it up, I highly, you're going to be shocked at what you're going to see. It's one of the most antioxidant rich foods, but the birch bark is super rich in antioxidants too. So having that together, it's going to be even better for your cell health. Um, and, and so we love that, that reparative effect that the antioxidants do provide. And then also it's wonderful for your skin, as you can imagine. Uh, I'm sorry, my, I'm going to shut off my email, Dr. Dave. Mm -hmm. So, but it, it's amazing for your skin as well. And so that we even, uh, we, we highly recommend drinking it every day in Siberia. Uh, they, they very, they live very long and it doesn't make any sense because, uh, they're very, they, it, it's harsh. It's cold. It's right. one of the coldest places on the planet. And if you go to the Inuit Indians, they don't live very long at, compared to them. And the difference we, they think they've mentioned is that they drink chaga just about every day when they have for many years. Interesting. Again, that's the chaga milk product as well. Folks, we're highlighting some ways you can get different avenues for these herbs to come into the body instead of just capsules or the liquids we've highlighted before on the, on the show. But we have this full line of these superfood lattes like we mentioned. Next up would be the maca milk. Uh, tell us about this one. Is that similar to these first two where it's just maca as the main powder? Yes, exactly. Maca is the main attraction that you would come for when you when you purchase that one. And, you know, maca is something that you can use also for energy. It's also known as an adaptogen. Little known fact, it's known as a cruciferous vegetable. Mm. Uh, so that's in line with things like broccoli and cauliflower. Uh, so it's high in vitamin K, and you can use maca for its B vitamin content uh, for energy and mood, uh, and then also libido and fertility. It's, it has a traditional use uh, there to support reproductive health. Yeah, and like you mentioned, it's a nice way to mix it up from, from the daily coffee, typical three, yeah. four cups. You can even put some in coffee, is that right? You sure can. Yeah, I've done that before. I put some of that maca powder uh, in my coffee maker, actually on the filter where I started up and it, it has kind of a butterscotch taste, right? Uh, very, very it's a nice smell. I like the smell of maca. Me too. Yeah. So I've done the same thing. I've used ground up mushrooms like chaga and you just put it right into your coffee. If you're already having it anyways, you might as well sneak some herbs into the, into the coffee, right? Yeah. Take yeah. advantage of that opportunity. Absolutely. So again, a teaspoon is a serving size of the maca milk. And that actually has some black organic black chaga in there with it, which is cool. Yeah. Maca is one of my, the maca milk formula is probably my favorite personally out of all of them. And I, I feel something when I take it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's the Ceylon cinnamon powder that's added in there as well, which is the one we want. We don't want too much of the cassia cinnamon. Do you have any thoughts on that? The Ceylon versus the cassia? Well, I'm not, I'm not a super, you know, knowledgeable area for me, okay. but I, can, I have learned that it's thought to be, uh, one of the original traditional, you know, genetic species of, of cinnamon. Yeah. And I noticed that just the experience and the taste is the, you can totally tell the difference when you've got the real pure stuff. Absolutely. So, so far in today's episode, we've highlighted the Ashwa milk, the Chaga milk, maca milk as well as the latest one there and then we can finish off here on the golden latte with the termomax maybe those are similar let's differentiate those two yeah yeah so termomax is if you just want turmeric um so that's just your pure you know bright orange wild turmeric that we do out of a protected forest preserve there in india and it's strong you only need about a fourth of a teaspoon or a half of a teaspoon if you want a strong dose, because this is already seven to one. Uh, so that means it's seven times stronger than just the powder. The other one, and so that would be perfect if you want to work on, uh, you know, say you've got a headache, you've got right. some pain in your bag, you know, digestion. If you want the Termomax, 
that's got turmeric, ginger, and cinnamon. That has some digestive, strong digestive support. And um, I should mention too that cinnamon and ginger both come from Sri Lanka, one of the mm. best places to, to get it from. It's highly aromatic. And that's the original kind of traditional Ayurveda golden milk recipe there. And then give us a quick, maybe like three to five highlights of why turmeric is so important. Why should someone consider the Turmamax powder instead of a capsule version of turmeric? Well, it's one of the, you know, turmeric itself is originally consumed as a food. And if you go to India, mm. where they are the masters, and it's a sacred spice, of course, over there, they're always putting it in their food. And, you know, we've mentioned on the show before, Dr. Dehan, is that uh, their mind is still intact, you know, even in these uh, 70, 80, 90 year old people, you don't see dementia and Alzheimer as high. They right. attribute it to all the spices that they're taking, the ginger, the cinnamon, turmeric, and more. And uh, another thing to keep in mind is that it supports mood. There's been studies on depression uh, and it, it, there's no side effects, you know, so you can't lose. And right. then even with heart disease, they've done some studies and shown that blood vessel integrity was stronger after eight weeks of use. Hmm. And so it, it, the benefits of turmeric, we only crack the surface when we say pain and inflammation. And what we want people to do is to know the whole food form has over 200 phytonutrients. It's not just curcumin. It's so much more than that. If you're taking in the whole food form, you're really getting it as nature intended. And then you've got some brain cell support, heart support, it's total body. So, and it's pure ground up organic turmeric root. Yes. So it might give a pretty strong kick. It's going to be a strong taste. It's going to it make whatever strong. you're tasting taste like turmeric, but you're getting all these incredible benefits. You know, we have the Turmerone Fortified 7X Grader. Quickly highlight what a, the Turmerones are. Yeah, so we all, we hear a lot about the curcumin or the curcuminoids, yeah. and that's the subject of a lot of studies. That makes up about 6 to 8 of the total profile, 6 to 8 out of 200. Turmerones, on the other hand, are, are emerging in the studies. Uh, a couple of things we're finding. One, Turmerones by themselves have been linked to uh, brain cell growth. And that's something we can all get behind, especially as we get older or we're just dealing with a, um, a lot of stress and we need to be able to keep our wits about us. And another thing they found is that when you put the turmerones and the curcuminoids together, you have greater overall effect for pain and inflammation mm. and you have a more powerful response, more efficacy. And um, of course, that's not a surprise because that's the way nature gave it to us and we're just taking it in whole food form. Right. Okay, so we've covered the Ashwa milk, Chaga milk, Maca milk, and even the Terma Max. Is there a standalone golden latte product, or is that included with the Terma Max? The Terma Max is essentially, you might see, it, it might be called triple spice latte. We've gone, gone through a couple of name changes. Okay. But that is essentially the, uh, the authentic recipe for golden milk. Amazing. And I do want to quickly highlight the, the wild Chaga uh, as well, uh, well, the purple maca too. That's from Peru. Is that correct? The purple that's, maca, especially. That's correct. And it, yeah, we we have a great partner in Peru that we get our uh, our camu camu berries, for vitamin C, our purple corn, our sacha inchi, and of course the maca. And uh, great gentleman, we've been with them for twenty years. And it is purple maca. It's good that you mentioned that. And there's black, yellow, and purple, and they all are a little different. Yellow is the most common. Uh, black's the least common, and purple is kind of in the middle. And purple has extra magnesium uh, compared to the others, and that's part of the reason why we like it. I'm a big fan of maca, Stephen. I take it every single day, two caps a day usually. This would be yeah. a great. I'm probably going to start using this maca milk here. You just throw some into your coffee in the morning or a tea, and it's good for both men and women. Is that correct? It's not just a male testosterone herb, right? Oh. Absolutely. In fact, uh, you know, for women in uh, pregnancy and women trying to get pregnant and then all, all the nursing situation after that, uh, maca has traditional use by the Incas. And so there's a lot of historical use for women with maca. Amazing. So the big ones, the hormone modulation, anti-stress, helps with energy levels and and much more than that. You can research so much on these. So What's uh? What's your favorite one? You mentioned the the maca milk, correct? 
I like that because it's Maka and Chaga. So you get the best of both worlds, you know, and it, in case you can't decide which one, like me, I was I'm so indecisive. I want I don't know what to do. So I just put it all right. together. I like that. The best. <laughs> Maka and Chaga, huge value. And since the last time we spoke, Stephen, what's been going on at North American Urban Spice? We want to hear, I think it was in Nashville. You had the uh, conference or event that you went to. Tell us a little bit about what's hot and what's new on your end. Yeah, thank you. You know, so I had an opportunity to go to this conference. Uh, it's called the American Health and Freedom Summit. And this was in Nashville. And it was all basically practitioners of all kinds, you know, naturopaths and then acupuncture, RNs, you name it. And they had speakers on uh, the areas of pediatrics, functional medicine, which we, uh, yes, and then also um, chiropractic. So there's mm. so many speakers, got to network with a lot of uh, great, great, some of the famous, you know, doctors out there. And uh, they're all like minded, you know, they're, what's interesting is they're not exactly in the mainstream you know, thought and uh, they can think for themselves. And it was just really encouraging to see that they put a lot of emphasis in nutrition and diet. Mm. And of course, in uh, what, what certain herbal formulas that are clean can do. And so that was, whenever you see some, you know, a bunch of people, they, they right. come by and they're like, wow, they tried our black seed gummies, by the way, they love those. Uh, so it was good for our brand awareness and just to network with and, and, we, that's what we need to do. We need to stay connected. We need to organize with like-minded individuals and keep spreading the word. You mentioned the black seed gummies. That's a good little segue into into highlighting that product in addition yes. to maybe like the Thermomax. If, if someone listens to this and they start adding in one or two teaspoons of that Thermomax powder into their day, would black seed gummies help as well? Because those kind of, they have similar benefits almost, uh, black seed and turmeric. Yes, they do. Uh, you know, they're, they're two powerhouses, you know, you'd be hard pressed to find, to try to, you know, if, if this was like a, a tournament or something, you know, the turmeric and black seed would be at the tip top black seed, you know, being great for immune uh, heart digestion. You can take it in a gummy form now. And that's the thing. If you've ever tried straight up black seed oil, I think nine out of 10 people, it's not their favorite tasting thing, uh, but it's so beneficial. So we've got to find a way to get it in. So we created this clean gummy. It's actually 500 milligrams of black seed just in two gummies. And the best part is it it kind of tricks you into thinking you're just eating candy. Yeah. And, uh, that's what I love. You know, you can eat it at night instead of something else. It's good on the heart. Man, can't go wrong. The turmeric as well. You know, hey, you can have your, uh, I like to do it as a hot tea, the Thermomax. And it's just so soothing at night. It just makes me want to fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> And just water, hot water, you can throw it in there and just kick it back. Hot water. You know, it's always good to do a fat. If you want to do a little coconut oil or like a latte, you know, put a little, uh, a little milk on the top. Yeah. And you're good to go. Amazing. Honey. Yeah, yeah, of course. I was waiting for that. I was like, when's he going to say that? There it is. <laughs> yeah, don't let me forget. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of honey, we have a whole array of honeys here as well. I think it's it's right to mention the raw honeys that you have available because we're talking about like lattes and, and ways to help support the flavor of some of these herbs. People aren't used to that. They're taking herbs in, in powder format. So tell us about your favorite raw honey that's available through North American. Well, you're going to love my answer. It's the Canadian Prairie. There we honey. go. That's my fave. And I, I think a lot of us here, uh, that's our number one. They're all good, but yeah. yeah and of course, as the name suggests, you're getting it from actual wilderness in Canada, just like the, was it the Chaga product? Yeah, yeah, not far away, right? And uh, not far away, yeah, up there, actually, more specifically, you know, kind of north of Winnipeg, up there in the top half of Manitoba right. province. Amazing, folks, if you're just tuning in, the Director of Education is with us, Mr. Steve Harkins, representing North American Urban Spice Always love having you on, Stephen. About a minute to go here. Give us a little recap for people that are shopping in the store as we speak. People are listening to our program here. We've highlighted about four different drink mix options now with herbs. So what's a good take home here? What should someone be thinking about after this episode? Don't let taste be an objection to your health. You know, there are there is really wonderful tasting uh, uh, magical uh, herbs out there that you can use 
and you don't have to uh, take a capsule and you can enjoy it and you can give it to your children you give it to your grandparents. And, you know, I, I would say go with a brand like us and always make sure there's no cornstarch, there's no fillers, just the good stuff yeah. you'll be right on track for wellness. Yeah, especially with how fatigued everybody is. A lot of people are tired and their hormones are <laughs> out of balance and they just keep reaching for that coffee. Why not sneak some chaga or, or maca into that coffee, into, into that, mix it up a little bit, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Build up your energy in a sustainable way because you got to pace yourself, you know, yeah. in this life. So, yeah, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. And then we're going to see you in about a month, Stephen. So I'm excited for that episode. What's one thing that keeps you going here? We'll finish on that, about 20 seconds. What keeps you wanting to, to get up every day and educate America yeah. and beyond on health? You know, I, I just feel like um, knowledge is power, knowledge is key. And then when we apply the knowledge, that's when we really, you know, take ourselves places. And, you know, I've been blessed to be informed and be educated by others who invested into me about mm -hmm. uh, where to get our nu nutrients and how to support our health in many different ways. And um, I'm just an exchanger of information. Uh, that's the way I see myself. And you know, if you can uh, make this world a better place than what you came into it, and the more people you talk with, you never know. It's like a human chain wow. reaction. So Absolutely. Thank you, Stephen. We appreciate you and the whole team. Thank you, and I see why you have good energy. It's the maca. There you go. That's right, buddy. Thank you, Stephen. We'll talk Thanks. to you soon. Too.